Welcome back to Ano Football. I have another exciting review for you guys today. Today I'm reviewing a new chin strap from Adele. So a lot of you guys have asked me about it. You guys are very observant. You've seen it in some of my picks. So I've been testing it out. Uh, I've been wearing it throughout my season right now and uh, I do like it, which is why I continue to wear it. But uh, I will go over what the chin strap is and I'll compare it to uh, Riddell's other chin strap, which is just the hard cup. So uh, the chin strap I'm reviewing, without further ado, is the TCP chin strap. And that's the one that you've seen on the speed that I've been wearing throughout the season, which, uh, you know, it's white and then has this little, like, black liner, and you guys have wondered, like, what it is. And what I'm going to be comparing it to is the chin strap, which is just a normal hard cup, which is what I've previously worn uh, with a lot of my helmets. So first things first, you know what, let me go ahead and take off the chin strap so I can really get into some of this detail. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit so you can actually see this, what's going on. So here is the TCP chin strap. And it's $25 from Riddell. And uh, that's a, a little bit more expensive. It's almost double the price of the hard cut, which is $13. Uh, so what this TCP does is it blends a soft cut chin strap, which I actually have one of those, one second. So it actually blends a, the fit of a soft cup chin strap with that of a hard cup chin strap. So as you can see here, I've got the soft over here and the hard cup over here, and it blends the two of these together. In addition to that, see it says TCP on the inside, is the cup on the inside actually floats over the bottom, so it's not touching. And that's going to be different from any of the other chin straps I reviewed before. Because what the other chin straps usually do is that, what, they might have some gel in here. Uh, they might have something a little soft, like this hard cup has foam on the inside. Uh, so it, it fits on your chin, right? It comes in different sizes. This one comes in a, uh, the hard cup comes in a large, small, and medium. And, uh, you know, when you have the foam for impact protection and also for softness, for comfort, then you have the polycarbonate outside for protection. So if you get hit with the helmet here, it's going to uh, absorb some of that energy, but it's going to transfer it to the foam. Um, the foam is going to absorb some more energy before going to your chin. That's how it protects you. A soft cup chin strap is going to be more formed for your chin because it's not hard. So it's going to sit really tight. It's going to be really comfortable, but as you can see, there is no protection here. Now the TCP is going to give you that comfort and it's going to give you that fit of a soft cup. That's what this black part is. So you can see this black part moves, right? The foam, it doesn't, it doesn't move at all. So it's not going to be custom to your chin. So back to the TCP. This is going to be comfortable. It's going to basically mold to your chin. And it's not touching the bottom of it. So it can be adjusted for different chin sizes because it's not touching the bottom of the cup. Now, you're going to have the protection of the polycarbonate shell, which is the same material made in your helmet, at the bottom of the chin cup. And so it's going to absorb the energy from the polycarbonate. It's actually going to push up before going to your chin and absorbing some of the impact inside of this soft part right here. So similar to the 360 face mask where the, the face mask actually moves before you know it hits your helmet, it absorbs some of that, that contact. And uh, one of the main benefits about this is that it's easy to clean and you don't have to wear a chin shield with it. Uh, so I thought that I might be able to take it apart by these two buttons right here, uh, but I didn't want to break it and I couldn't take it apart. So to clean it, really what you'll do is you'll just take uh, some mild soap and water, hand wash it, and then just let it air dry. Um, and that's something that you really can't do as well with the foam and you really can't do as well with a soft cup either. So that's one of the, the main benefits about this. But other than that, it comes in a one size fits all. Uh, so there's not a small, medium, or large, it's just one size. And, but it does come for two different helmet styles. It comes for a mid to high hookup for just about every helmet out there. And then it comes for one for the 360. And this is just the normal one. This is not the one for the 360 because I, I'm using it on the speed. 
but I'm pretty sure that the 360 one is identical, it just has longer straps because on 360, the clips go back a little further. Now, if I was to suggest to get one over the other, I would suggest the 360 because you can always cut these down. Um, you know, it might not say TCP because it might be a little bit longer, but you can always cut them down to make the right size and fit uh, for your helmet versus accidentally buying something that's too short. Uh, it does come with the uh, Riddell pen pending clips, and you've seen me talk about clips on a few other uh, reviews, so you know how I feel about these. I think they're excellent. Again, they don't, you know, we'll try it on the helmet here. So it can lift up the helmet a little bit. I'm going to try to lift it up all the way for you guys so you can see without dropping. See that? It's holding it. I can't do that with other chin straps. So uh, that's how I feel about it. That's my review. So TCP, where you can get it, you can try Google. Uh, you can actually get it from Riddell. It's not on their website. When I posted the review, it's not on there, but it is in the guide. It was in the, a guide that I posted to my Facebook in January. So if you guys looked through that, you would have known about this chin strap. I was definitely waiting for it to come out. I tested it. I liked it. Definitely give it a thumbs up. So if you like my video, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.